Alice in Hell 9. It's a pretty dismal looking place, said Cullen Rowe. There's an equivalent in Gotham City. We stayed here for a while when we were on tour. There was a gang, the Scorpions. I think they're still around, said Cullen. I've heard that that, bang, that uh, gang name mentioned, the Scorpions. Yeah, so have I, said, said Allison. Drake Dragon talks about them all the time, says he runs with them occasionally. Drinks beer and stuff. Bad boys. What do you expect in dark Gotham? Replied Cullen Rowe. It's cheap, she said. Cheaper than the place across the road from Baldcock's. It's what I can afford. So I've moved in. Alison took him into the tenement, showed him her room, and of the few meagre possessions she had started collecting in this place. Ah, uh, you got your Boojum CDs. Yeah, they've all come in now, she said. Thinking back in the band going. Possibly want the other members to show up. I don't know if I'll like the Okana, though. They've all got their own lives these days. We still tour occasionally, but they've gotten on a bit and doing their own thing with family and other jobs. Boojum was a so-so thing in the end. It got a bit of success, but we were just a garage punk band, you know. Not everyone's cup of tea. But I might have another go at it these days. See what goes. Yeah. You going to stay in the Arcana, Alison? Asked Colin. I'm getting used to you, girl. I like your company. It might be home for the time being. Earth has its way about it. It's the real world. But this world is... I feel alive here in a different way. I think I know what Anima is talking about on the Arcana, as it were. She always talked about this place as something spooky and different. Yeah. I'll stay a while. We'll see how it goes. Boojum, he says. Maybe Lost Johnny could be a manager. That's an idea, said Alison. <laughs>